Well, hello, hyperspace. My name is Devatos, and it's time to get hyped because this is some infinite warfare gameplay, and it's definitely not World War II gameplay because I, I don't like World War II at all. And that's actually what I want to cover in this video. Now, many times I've been asked, Devatos, why don't you like Call of Duty World War II? It's a really fun Call of Duty, and I can see why a lot of people like it, and that's fine. But for me, you know, I just don't like it. The same way a lot of people don't like infinite warfare but i do that's fine everybody likes different things we can all be different we can't all like the same thing everyone's different and i actually want to cover in this video why i dislike world war ii so for starters it claims to be an old school boots on the ground call of duty it's not i've played every single call of duty aside from the original Modern Warfare, but I did play Modern Warfare Remastered before they added all the DLC guns, so you can kinda say I did play the original Modern Warfare, and it's just... It's it's not an old-school Call of Duty, the way it plays out, the, the, I guess, yeah, it looks like an old-school COD, I mean, it's World War II, boots and ground and fine, but just the way it plays as a game. It's not old school. Now, I'm going to be using a lot of Modern Warfare Remastered references because that's basically the the most recent old school game aside from World War II. So, let's actually refer, let's actually refer, let's make a lot of references to Modern Warfare Remastered and World War II. World War II, the maps are very, very small, aside from like two or three of them. In all of the old school CODs, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, World at War, even Modern Warfare 3, even like Black Ops 1 and so on, all the maps were fairly large, except for like a handful of them, like two or three, maybe even four or five, those are kind of fairly small, but all the other ones were large. Therefore, you can, you know, camp with your LMGs, and you can actually snipe and play like a sniper, because snipers aren't supposed to quickscope. Snipers are supposed to hardscope. That's the point of a sniper. If snipers were supposed to quickscope, then every single sniping game or game that has a sniper in it, like Battlefield, Overwatch, and so on, they would only be quickscoping. Quickscoping is just a fad that's in Call of Duty. It's not how you're supposed to snipe. So, it's you, you can't really snipe in World War II. Hell, you can't even really snipe in Infinite Warfare. But, you know, all this jumping and space stuff aside, just using old school CODs, it doesn't, World War II does not play out like an old school cut, and they keep on slapping you in the face with it. They keep on saying, like, oh, it's time to bring the old clan back. Oh, you gotta get ready for some old school COD gameplay. It's gonna be just like it was ten years ago. And it's not. It's, it's definitely not. And because, as I said, going back to Modern Warfare Remastered, all the other old school CODs have this. If you look at the maps in the old school CODs, size aside, you know, if all the maps were the exact same size, the old school maps looked and felt more like a battlefield, while the new Call of Duties, their maps feel like an arena. And I say this because arena maps, they have to be parallel. They have to be uh, symmetrical, because everything has to be even, because COD tends to favor, you know, more of the competitive aspect. If you go back to the older COD, you know, Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, World at War, and so on, they weren't symmetrical. It felt like a messy battlefield where you had to run from cover to cover. One side of the map had the advantage, which made it more frustrating and made it more fun at times. And because of that, it played out like a war game. You know, if you were to actually go out into a war, you're not going to expect the enemy's, you know, enemy defenses to be the exact same as your defenses. You have to fight your way forward. You have to fight your way, you know, to the enemy lines, have disadvantages on your side. And a couple times you have advantages on your side and so on. And it just feels like a war game. And uh, if you go to, um, let's actually use one of the old school maps, like Terminal, right? Terminal's from Modern Warfare 2, and that's a very popular map that keeps coming back nowadays, but it's based off of an old school map. If you look at Terminal, there are parts in the map that don't make no sense. Like, uh, the airplane, for example, or the spaceship if you're playing in Infinite Warfare. What's the cockpit for? There's not really a use to... For the cockpit to be in the game because it's just a little tiny room you're an easy target and it's just to get like one cheeky kill and that's it and you can say things say the same thing about burger town or the restaurant in the back if you're playing an infinite warfare yeah you can hide behind the uh, the counter and pick off a couple people but then if you go behind a the counter there is that little back room and that back room serves no purpose except if you want to just like stay there and wait for your care package or something and that's it Old school CODs had these useless spots on the map that made it feel more like a battlefield. And if you go onto the newer maps, like this one you're watching right now, 
there are no little useful, I mean, useless rooms, or no little hidden passages like that, because it's meant to be an arena. Everything has to be symmetrical. World War II is the exact same thing. It doesn't have those little side rooms that serve no purpose. It doesn't have a lot of stuff that just make it, you know, all wacky and broken and just... I don't know, a, a map that has all this rubble all over the place. Everything has to be symmetrical. And if you're going to call a game old school and plan on it to play like an old school COD, you're going to have to design it and make it play and feel like an old school COD. Kind of like, you know, talking the talk, walking the walk. At the moment, World War II is talking the talk. They're saying, oh, we're going to make it play like an old school COD, bring the old clan back and so on. They're just not walking the walk because when you play it, it's not old school. It just looks like it but it just doesn't play like it. That's, that's what I'm kind of getting at. And that's actually why I like Infinite Warfare so much, because, yeah, the IW maps are parallel, at least some of them are parallel, but they all aren't exactly the same on both sides, like Black Ops 3 was, and how um, World War II is. You know, there are some maps in Infinite Warfare that are a little messy. Therefore, it plays out like a old-school Call of Duty with jetpacks. That's that's why I really like Infinite Warfare, because I thought Black Ops 3 was fine, aside from the uh, broken DLC weapons. And that's that's why I like Infinite Warfare, because some of the maps are messy, some of the maps are parallel. Black Ops 3, all the maps are parallel. That's why I kind of prefer, you know, Infinite Warfare. But, you know, that aside, I hope this clears up a lot of the questions that you guys ask why I dislike World War 2. I completely understand. I can see why a lot of people like World War 2. It's completely normal, it's fine in my opinion if you like World War II, I don't see you any different. A lot of people liked Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2 had parallel maps, Black Ops 2 wasn't for me, that's fine. I'm just not the parallel map kind of guy, I like my maps messy. So, if you like this video, punch that like button with a mighty force, you can follow me up on Twitter at DeFontosMan, and as always, I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a nice day!